Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Ava, a mortgage professional talking all things finance. Now in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys my five tips on how to save faster. So if you've already seen my ultimate guide to saving video, this is the second thing you need to bring it all together and to help you save faster. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. be more of an interactive video so I'm actually going to base it on a 20k salary to show you guys the maths to show you how it actually works in practice and that it is doable so tip number one is to calculate all your expenses and split them into three categories and those categories being your house costs your car costs or travel costs and other to make it nice and simple so you only have those three categories so remember it's your monthly outgoings that you're calculating so you then take those figures and multiply them by 12 to get the actual annual total which we're going to come back to in a minute now what we need to do and this is tip number two or step number two is to calculate your net annual salary so what you'll find is that yes you have your annual salary which in this example is 20k but the actual net salary is completely different it's less because we've deducted the taxes so in this example my 20k salary now becomes just over 17k so obviously I've lost almost three grand just in taxes so the easiest way to calculate your net salary is to take your monthly salary payments that you get into your account and then multiply them by 12. Now if your salary varies on a monthly basis, so you know if one month you get more, another month you get less, what you can do is take an average take the last three months add them together and divide by three to get the average monthly salary that you get then multiply that figure by 12 to get your annual equivalent i know there's a lot of maths involved in this but trust me it's easier than it sounds and it will help you massively in this so make sure you do it now that we know those figures we need to find out our net position so what we need to do is we need to take our net income and take away all of our expenses from that so let's have a look at my example Example. So my net income in this example is £17,254. Now I've put down £9,600 for my house bills, £2,400 for my car kind of motor expenses and £2,400 for other. Now just to clarify as well, in your house costs make sure you do include your food shop as well. So that's what I've done here. And to be honest the house costs is, I've actually based that on my current house costs. So the total of that actually comes to 14,400. So in order to find your net position, all you have to do is just take that figure away from the income figure. So in my case, the net position would be 2,854 pounds. So that is your savings potential. And I think that that's a decent amount to save in a year. Now, in order to find out how much you actually need to save a month in order to save that full amount, all you have to do is just divide that by 12. And that will give you the monthly amount that you need to put into your savings account in order to come to that end figure. So in my example, the monthly figure I would need to be saving is 237 pounds 83 pence. Which listen guys, I know that is a lot of money, but ultimately, if you've already paid for your bills, if you've already paid for your car, and you've also paid for other things that amount to that amount of money, that extra money should be gone into your savings. As otherwise, I bet any money, that extra money will be spent on something totally irrelevant that you don't actually need. So saving money is literally as easy as those three steps. But let me move on to tip four, which actually involves reviewing your existing bills to see whether you can actually save even more. As humans, we're very reluctant to change, right? However, when it comes to your household bills, changing and switching providers on an annual basis can actually save you a lot of money. How many times have you gone to, let's say, your car insurance provider and on your renewal date, your car insurance is actually more than what it was the first year, despite you having your driving license for a year longer without any claims? So that just shows you that loyalty means absolutely nothing to a lot of companies nowadays. And if you want to make more money and if you want to save more money, switching is what you need to be doing. Now, anytime you do switch, make sure, and I cannot stress this enough, make sure you use the likes of Top Cashback or Quidco. And the reason for that is 
this because when it comes to your utilities, they have some amazing cash back. That's how I've earned majority of mine. As you can get, 50 to 100 quid per transaction. It's absolutely crazy money and it'll help you with your savings. So if you want to check Top Cashback and Quidco out, I do have some links in the description box down below. And when you sign up, you get a £5 bonus. So check it out. And my final tip, and it's probably not going to go down very well, but I have to say it anyways, but that's to increase your income. And I know, I know, you probably sat there thinking, well, if it was that easy, I would have already done it. Do you know something? It is that easy. It's easier than you think. And there are several different options that will allow you to actually increase your income. The easiest one's being overtime at your current position. And if that's not available to you, have a look at picking up a part-time job. If you're working in an office, nine till five from Monday to Friday. There is nothing stopping you picking up a Saturday job. I did it for five years to get a bit of extra income and trust me, it helped massively. It allowed me to buy this house at 20 and afterwards it helped me towards the bills when I've been on my own. So trust me guys, if you're truly wanting to save more money, you will do anything it takes. And there are so many different places that are absolutely desperate for staff nowadays. Even if it is just a Saturday shift that you can cover, there are a lot of places that are currently recruiting staff. So definitely look into it. But other than that, you can always try and sell your skills. We all have some sort of skill. So why not monetize on it? We are living in the best age ever to try and make money online. And it's become a lot easier to actually do so. I mean, don't get me wrong, it takes a lot of hard work and consistency, but ultimately, all you need to do is start and I'm not saying you're going to make a lot of money straight away but if you don't try it ain't ever going to happen so start today stop with the excuses and get saving right guys that is it for today's video I hope you found it useful and I hope I've taught you something new once again sorry about all the maths in there but it is really useful to know where you currently are because it then allows you to plan and move forward but with that being said if you like this video please give a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below thank you for watching and i'll see you guys back on monday with a brand new video bye guys